My name is Sarah Kozakowski. I'm the East Coast Corporate Pastry Chef for Valrona Chocolate, and I'm based in Brooklyn, New York. I remember making ice cream with my grandmother in the old hand crank ice cream makers where you had to add salt to the ice. And I remember thinking that this is so much work. <laughs> and now, on a professional level, we have so many things that help us, but I still remember that, and I still can appreciate making things by hand with my, with my grandmother and my mother. Today I'll be making a strawberry shortcake in a glass. Actually, the inspiration for my dessert was more of Opalise because I felt that it would be a nice kind of backbone for the dish, not being too sweet, kind of being neutral. But then as I started to work through the dish, I realized that doing something like strawberry shortcake, really the main element, aside from the strawberries, is shortcake. So you need those flavors to come through. And Dulce was really a great fit for that to allow me to have those biscuit flavors and kind of the toffee. So first I'm going to start by making the strawberry panna cotta. I have strawberry puree, uh, Greek yogurt, gelatin, and some cream, as well as some sugar. Basically going to combine all those, heat up my cream to melt my gelatin. So I'm going to mix all these items together and then blend them with an immersion blender. And then just add a little bit of strawberry extract and red food coloring just to brighten the flavor and the color. Then we're going to move on to the Opalise whipped ganache which instead of doing just a traditional Opalise whipped ganache, I've actually infused the milk in this recipe with Captain Crunch cereal to give it a little bit of a nostalgic flavor and also add another element and dimension to it. Who doesn't love the milk left over after a bowl of cereal? So that was somewhat of my inspiration that after you're done with a bowl of cereal, drinking the milk is sometimes the best part. I chose Opalise for this recipe because it is less sweet than traditional white chocolate so it allows the flavor of the cereal to actually shine through. And now I'm gonna combine the two, and then I'm gonna finish that with an immersion blender just to perfect the emulsion. And then I wanna pour this into a shallow container so that it crystallizes evenly. And again, this is best if set for four to six hours, but also overnight is ideal. So I have my dulce that we're gonna melt. And I especially like using this chocolate for this recipe because of the biscuit flavor and the slight salty finish. So it reminds me of more of a shortbread flavor. So I have all my ingredients for my rocher. A little more of a non-traditional rocher as I've added freeze-dried strawberries, some cookie crumbs. We have the traditional almonds, but then I've also added to impart more of that cereal flavor, Special K cereal. So you can also use cornflakes with this as well. So I'm gonna take all my ingredients, combine them in a bowl. Then I have my tempered dulce. that I'm gonna pour right over the top of my chocolate, and then I'm gonna mix everything thoroughly. I wanna make sure that everything in the Rocher is coated with the chocolate. Taking care not to overmix, so as to not over-crystallize my chocolate as well. And once everything is coated, I'm gonna spread that onto my silt pad and gently spread it out without pressing it down. Then we're going to take our finished rocher, set it aside, and let it set up and crystallize. Once it is, we're going to break it into pieces and use it for garnish in our verine. Following the rocher, I made the almond cake, which is a soft almond sponge. Usually in a strawberry shortcake, you're gonna use angel food or pound cake. So this was my addition to the recipe to have the soft sponge, but add the almond accent that also complemented the rocher. And finally, we finished with the infused berries. So I sliced the strawberries very thin and then laid them flat in a bag, as flat as possible, in a cryovac or a Ziploc bag. Laid the pieces of basil over the top, fresh basil sprinkled just a little bit of sugar, not too much, especially if your berries are nice and sweet. 
and then pressed as much air out as possible and then let that set in the refrigerator overnight. For the decor, I tempered dulce, then spread it onto acetate sheets, used a comb to create lines, and then once this was lightly set, I wrapped it around a rolling pin and let it set completely and crystallize. I decided to use dulce because I knew in the component in the glass it would be right next to the rocher, so I felt that it needed that color and to really make it look like the strawberry shortcake, more of the, the pound cake accent, leaving the opalese on the top, the whipped ganache, to kind of be the whipped cream. I left an airspace in between just for a different kind of plating and design of this. Usually you're not going to see a strawberry shortcake in a glass to begin with, so instead of just layering the items and then pile them, piling them on top, I decided that it would be really interesting to make it more of an almost atrium on the inside. So you have the strawberries, you have the decor, you have the rocher, so you're kind of digging through different elements of the dish. So you, you're almost forced to go all the way to the bottom to get the strawberry panna cotta. Here we have our Opalese whipped ganache that we're going to actually whip to the desired consistency. If you whip on a mixer, you have a tendency to over whip and therefore breaking the chocolate. I specifically love working with chocolate because it's so forgiving and it's so unique in so many different ways. You can make a cream with it, you can make a ganache, you can make a full entremet cake, but you can also create a showpiece, you can create decor. It has a lot of options and I feel like there's, there's endless possibilities and flavor profiles. I remember actually one of my first pastry jobs walking into the kitchen and my job was to chop the blocks of Valrona chocolate. This is before we had Febs. So of course being the new girl that was my responsibility and it would melt all over my hands and it would make a mess. But I remember very from the, from the very beginning I had a deep passionate love for this chocolate. 